reckoning on their non-conference schedule against San Diego, whose net ranking, remember that replaces RPI, is at 49, and the Ducks with a 10-point win at home. Rich Burke, along with Steve Lavin, Isaiah Pinheiro, the leading scorer for San Diego, averaging 20 points, seven rebounds a game. He had 14 and nine tonight. Yeah, and six foot seven, he can do damage at the rim there, moving well without the ball, the finish off the window, operating so smoothly along the baseline, again, using his size advantage on that jump shot. The spark plug for the Ducks and turning this one around, he have a man. Boy, not only offensively hitting that shot, but opportunistic on defense. Four steals here out in the open court, converting off of that turnover, and things changed for the Ducks as a result. Yes, they did. Also big defensively, Kenny Woot. Well, as impressive a front line as there is when you look at Woot and Bull, and now King joining forces with the Ducks. More Woot went to work. And Bull, Bull, he can hit the three, he can block a shot, he can do so many things. Yeah, influences the game in a positive manner for the Ducks at both ends of the court. Unique at 7-2 and being able to line up from Reggie Miller range to torch the nets. He's in the top six in the Pac-12 in scoring, rebounds, blocks, and three-point field goal percentage now shooting over 50% Bull, two of three on threes tonight. And the Ducks turn things around uh, in uh, the points in the paint. Yes, the points in the paint and also turnovers. First half, San Diego able to operate, run their offense deliberately, but because of the 12 second half turnovers, that really allowed the Ducks to get out, play at a faster pace, get some easy buckets, and begin to feel some confidence or swag like you have, Rich Burke. Well, thank you, sir. Yeah, San Diego one turnover the first 15 minutes of the game, and then the rest of them came in the last 25 minutes, and the Ducks with a 10-point win over San Diego, and they'll next play at home against Boise State on Saturday, 6 o'clock on Pac-12 Network, trying to avenge a loss to Boise State from last season.